most of the time, alarms alert operators and document when adverse outcomes occur within application behavior. Alarm occurrences, whether digital or analog, can signal acceptable limits, breakdown, or malfunction of a device or application. Simon's notification feature, Alarms, can help accomplish this. From acknowledging critical events to generating historical CSV data, the Alarm feature records vital actions that occur within the application. This feature must first be configured within the Alarm Editor, which is found in the Tools dropdown of the menu bar, or within the toolbar. We'll create an alarm by pressing the plus sign at the top left of the Alarm Editor window. Next, we will assign a tag to the trigger field by double-clicking. The comparison field will be changed to greater than, and the value 50 will be assigned to the value 1 field. Then we will press OK to confirm our settings. The GUI portion of this feature can be found within the Insert dropdown of the menu bar, or within the toolbar. Simply click and drag the object into existence. The colors of the alarm summary can be altered from the appearance pane. Components of the alarm summary can also be turned on or off at the click of a button within the appearance pane. Let's run the simulator to witness the behavior of the alarm summary. Users can acknowledge, shelve, or delete alarms to manage their alarm summary runtime object. Notice when I change the value of new tag from 0 to 51, the alarm we created triggers, denoted by red text. By acknowledging the alarm, the text changes to blue, signifying event recognition. When I change the value back from 51 to 0, notice that the alarm event resolves, denoted by green text. Shelving alarms allows users to declutter their active alarms tab, while retaining the active status of the alarm. This is similar to the snooze button on your alarm clock. Lastly, the Historical Alarms tab will display any event action that occurred in accordance with the defined alarm configurations. That's it for now. Thanks for stopping by.